Tonight's Inside the Kitchen may be a bar, but its menu goes way beyond the typical bar food. Charlie Tinker takes us to Arts Tavern in Glen Arbor. It's always been Arts Tavern, no sense in changing a good thing. Known for doing things in its own special way, maybe that's why Arts Tavern has had it so good for, oh, the last eight decades or so. Tim Barr owns the famous watering hole. He'll be the first to tell you he's not art. We're open early, stay open late. In the old days, and even now, people Friday night coming up from downstate, turn on the heat in the cottage and then come down here to find out what's going on. A place to nurse your beer by night and come back at the crack of dawn for a down-home American breakfast. The beautiful golden brown color that it gives it also makes it look very appealing on the plate. I'd compare our white fish to any other restaurant in the area at any at any level, we get it right fresh right off the boat. Served with a tartar sauce and a lemon wedge. What's some of the feedback you get from, from people who come in here? Don't change it. <laughs> it's pretty pretty much the number one thing. And Art's famous flagship burger never has. The burger has been our mainstay ever since and we've always just built around it. That's the center of the menu. Never frozen, right from the slaughterhouse right to us. And um, we grind it from there. Well, you just get a lot better burger. A lot of restaurants, what they do is they order in burger that's already frozen. And you know the difference between uh, frozen meat and fresh meat is, uh, well, all the difference in the world. Nice char on there. You can really tell the difference between hand patty, something that's hand patty and that's not, uh, something that's frozen and something that's fresh, and, and I think and I think that's really playing out in your favor, definitely. Awesome burger, really hits the spot. That's what a burger should look like. The burger is the undisputed king of the menu, but you'd be missing out if you left without at least a gallon of their ever popular chicken jalapeno soup. We only make it on Wednesdays, and we make it by the bucketfuls, like in the summer, we're upwards of um, nine or 10 buckets a day that we Jeez. serve. And we're talking like a bucket that like size. Like a bucket, a bucket, yeah, bucket. a bucket. <laughs> okay. Expect an ever-changing array of local craft brews as well. And in the ever-changing center of the room, prepare yourself for a little surprise, a pool table on a car hoist. Because, as you'll discover, that's just the kind of place arts is.